Hello and welcome to the Lit Management Site Template Introduction video. This site template, which is designed for both SharePoint 2007 and 2010, allows you to manage your leads by entering them into a SharePoint list, by going through the process of lead nurturing, where you continually supply your lead with more information about your offering to make it more ready for buying one of your products. The system is based on SharePoint lists and a regular SharePoint site and uses some of our product to enhance the built-in functionality. We start the process by creating a new lead, which is created in the leads list. On the first tab, we enter some initial information such as the last name and we don't need to put in the full name because it will be automatically generated from the first and last name but you can put in something if you want the full name to be different and then we will not overwrite it let's put in job title and the company now the company we can select from the list of pre-existing companies that we've already filled in or we can create a new company directly from this form so let's create a new company which will be called ABB Incorporated it will be in manufacturing and now we can put in some additional information such as annual revenue number of employees and we can put in an account manager as well now the company is created and it's automatically filled in into the company dropdown. Let's put in phone number and an email address. We can also put in some additional details and we now enter the information regarding our lead and its management. So first of all, we can enter where we got the lead from, for example, from a, an industry. If we select an event, such as a trade show, then we can also enter the source event where the lead was collected. Now we can put in the product line that the lead is interested in, for example, our CRM system, and we can also enter new product lines which are not available, and put in if we, it's okay to call or email the lead, and we can also assign it to a marketing campaign. In this case, we'll enter a general campaign. We will later show you how to create and manage your campaigns. And now we will also allow this lead to receive our newsletter. The last tab of this form is the progress, which is basically what we do with the lead to make it more willing to buy our products. So, for example, let's put in the value of our products that the lead it can be expected to buy and we will also put in the probability of sale for example let's put in 50 percent and we also put in the status of the lead from prospecting to a closed deal okay so we save our lead now and it's a automatically added to the list of leads you can also see the summary of all leads using our chart web parts. For example, we can view the leads by level, by source, or by industry. We can also click on the lead levels to filter out only the uh, relevant leads. For example, now we'll be showing only the hot leads. Once we've entered the lead into the system, we can start working with that lead. So let's open up the lead form in view mode again. You see all the information here, read only mode. Now we can add new events so we can handle the lead, we can document any interaction that we have with the lead or any events we want to hold with, with the lead. For example, I want to do an introductory phone call. So I'll put in the information for the phone call And this event, although it goes to a different list of events, is also shown on the lead itself. So you can view it directly from here. You can also manage this event directly from within the lead. So 
So for example, if you want to view the event itself, you can just open it up from here and you see all the information and you can see that the company and the lead will automatically enter into this item without you having to type it in because we already knew where the, the event was originating. Now, if we go to the list of lists itself, we will see that we can view the information in several different views. For example, this is the all leads view that will show you the general name, company, phone, level status. And we can switch to any of the other views, such as the hot leads view, which will show you only the leads that are marked as hot. We, we can see leads by level, by status, or by account manager. We document the actions that we take regarding our leads in the events list. We can see the events that are relevant to specific leads within the view form of the list itself. But also on the calendar display, we can see all of the events and we can have events that are directly related to a specific lead or we can also add general events that, for example, conferences, or trade show. You can see the events that are relevant to you, the events that you are assigned to on the home page. You can easily add alerts to the list of events using our product called Smart Alert Pro. So just click on the Add Alert button and you can create alert for yourself for any events that you want. So you can, for example, specify when you want the alert to be sent. For example, you can send yourself an alert one day before the start date of the event. And you can insert conditions. For example, only send me this alert when the event type is, for example, phone call. You can also specify the email template that will go out. You can use the default one or you can create your own. As we saw earlier, you can assign a lead to any marketing campaign or you can create your own marketing campaign within your lead data. Once you've assigned marketing campaigns to leads, you can create the campaign itself. So if you go back to the home page of the site and switch to the campaign generated tab, now you can create the campaign is basically a set of predefined email messages that are sent automatically to your leads at predefined time periods that will explain to the potential customer about your products, make them offers, or generally maintain a relationship with the lead, educating the person and preparing them for the future purchase. To create a new mail campaign, you simply select from a list all campaigns that we've added to our leads. Create a title for a campaign. For example, we want a uh, reminder email two weeks after generating the lead. And we will remind them by introducing someone new products. You can create your own template by entering the free text and using any of the columns that exist in the leads list the column value will be added dynamically when the actual email is sent to a specific lead. So you can create completely personalized emails without actually creating a separate email for each lead. For example, you can use the full name of the customer and paste it inside the body of the email template. When the email goes out, this value is replaced with an actual name. You can define when the email is sent out. So for example, we will send it according to the date when the lead was created, and we will take two weeks from that date. Just clicking on Add will create a new alert set for the leads that are assigned to the campaign called General and it will send an email automatically two weeks after creating the lead with this subject and body. That's how simple it is. We can also create a newsletter and send out news articles completely automatically to any customer, future customer that opted in for this option. 
So we already have a newsletter set up called the general newsletter. You can set up as many newsletters as you want and each newsletter will contain articles. Now we can set up the newsletter to be sent after a specific number of days. So for example, each week we can send the newsletter automatically. We can send out after reaching a specific number of new articles. So for example, each time that we have five new articles we send out a newsletter or we can do it completely manually. So let's start with adding some new articles. So if we go to newsletter articles we will add a new article called new features for example in Marcus Pro. It's assigned to a newsletter called general newsletter we can also subdivide the newsletter into categories so the articles are grouped by this category field and we can also provide an icon to make the newsletter look a little bit more lively and we can now set up the actual sending of the newsletter if we go to manage newsletters we will see the profiles that we've set up so we've already set up this profile, so let's see how it looks. So we assigned it to the list called newsletter articles, that's where the, co the information comes from. And we set up the recipient to be the uh, newsletter view of the leads list. So basically this is the view that filters out only the leads that agreed to receive the newsletter. and the recurrence would be every five new items so each time five new items are created we will send a newsletter we can also send it a specific hour so for example 5 p.m. would be a good hour to send out the newsletter we can even get the analytics data when these email and messages are opened and viewed by our customers we also have document libraries for your marketing materials testimonials and press releases that's where you can keep your documents to use for your own marketing purposes so to sum it up you have a system that allows you to enter your leads to go through the process of nurturing the leads while feeding them marketing information email messages keeping track of the events concerning your leads knowing at each moment which leads are in what stage of the selling process all within simple easy to use SharePoint site thank you for watching and you can download this template for a free trial from our website